So CDK deals has an event called Back to School Sales and they're offering students a 30% off discount of a Windows 10 Pro key. So instead of paying $21 for an OEM key, you will only pay $15. Just head over to their website at cdkdeals.com slash back to school and click Windows 10 Pro. You will be asked to make an account and after doing so, head over to the promotion code bar and type MAC30 then click apply. As you can see, the price has already been discounted. Now click submit order and choose PayPal. After paying, you'll instantly receive your Windows 10 Pro key. Now all you have to do next is to use your new Windows 10 Pro key in your newly built PC. And by the way, they're also offering game keys for Steam, Origin, and Uplay as well as virus software if you're in need of that. For more information, just visit cdkdeals.com, links in the description below. So my Logitech G512 Carbon stops working properly after 2 years. RGB colors are off and some keys doesn't work anymore. And if you have been a subscriber in my channel, you all know that I answer most comments that I receive, whether it be the new videos or the old videos that I have. But since my keyboard is not working, I took some time off and look for a keyboard replacement. And I decided to buy the Royal Clutch RK84 and I got the white LED version. We'll check out its physical overview, features and more. Everything you need to know, coming up. First, let's check what's in the box. So obviously we have the keyboard itself, the USB-A to USB Type-C, keycap and key switch puller, magnetic stand, and a documentation written in Chinese. Now let's check out some physical overview. Well, my first impression was this was solidly built and feels heavy duty. Though the entire frame is made out of plastic, it still feels premium and literally heavy. It has this removable plastic frame which is nice and in my case I want to mod this one and add a black carbon fiber to match my setup. So if you wanted to see the result of that don't forget to subscribe in this channel and click that bell icon. Left and right side seems to be symmetrical and on the back side there is a single USB-C for charging or connecting it directly in your PC if you don't want to use it wirelessly. If I'm not mistaken, the RGB version has two USB pass-through over here and since mine was the white LED version, well, it doesn't have one. You guys might think why I have chosen the white LED version instead of the RGB. Well, I have the RGB version in mind but since I was in a hurry buying this keyboard, I didn't notice that I picked up the white LED version. Well, yeah, I got it by mistake, but we'll still go into review it anyway. So, moving on. At the bottom of the keyboard, you'll see the four rubber feet, and this is where you stick the magnetic stands included in the box if the height of the keyboard is not enough for you. Over here is where the USB receiver compartment, which is also magnetic. This is a good implementation actually, so you won't lose the dongle anywhere. Here is the on off switch and the Bluetooth or USB receiver switch. As for the keyboard layout, here is a quick look. RK84 actually stands for 84 keys and yes, this is a TKL keyboard. Now let's talk about the specs of the keyboard. So first, the switch. You can actually choose from brown, red, or blue switches. And as for me, I have chosen the blue switch. This is hot swappable, meaning you can replace uh, the switch with a different switch if you want to. And if the switch breaks, you don't have to replace the entire keyboard, but you just have to replace the broken switch and you are good to go. This actually one of the reasons is why I have chosen this keyboard. The switch actually has two metal pins in it. So just in case you want to replace it, make sure that it is the same as this one. The keycaps are ABS double shot, backlight is white only like I mentioned earlier but with several effects. For connectivity, you can use either wired, 
Bluetooth 5, or USB dongle with 1000 Hz 2.4G. You can connect this keyboard with three different devices and just use function key plus Q or plus uh, W or plus E to switch between devices. It also has a 3750 milliamp uh, lithium battery which is good and according to their website it could go up to 30 days wirelessly and has 8 hours charging time. And as for the weight and exact measurement. Just check this out and pause the video if you need to. Before anything else, let's listen to how the key sounds like and this is the sound of the blue switch. So upon testing the keyboard, I noticed an obvious delay on the Bluetooth itself, but not so much using the dongle. Wired is even more accurate, obviously, but uh, the only complaint I have is this red LED under the spacebar, and it's really bothering me so much. I'm not sure if it's just the unit I received, but while I was typing using the USB dongle, the spacebar and the backspace are continuously pressing itself and I literally have to double press both of those keys to stop. It happens at times but while I was testing it again just right now, it doesn't seem to have that issue anymore. I'm not sure uh, why is that but if you got any idea, please let me know in the comment section below. For common typing experience, I would say uh, Bluetooth connectivity is fine but I suggest use the dongle for your PC and Bluetooth on other devices like your tablet, VR, or mobile. You can also use this keyboard for gaming assuming that you use the wired connection for competitive gaming but for casual, you can use the dongle. I think it will do a good job. Anyway, here are my final thoughts about this keyboard. So moving from full-size keyboard is a bit of a challenge for me since I use the numpad key a lot especially when I'm designing 3D model but I think I'll be able to adjust in no time. I have no complaints regarding the build and I'm loving the clicky switches. The simple white LED looks clean, MIDI keys works as it should, switching from devices through Bluetooth are quick and easy, though the backspace placement is a bit troublesome for me because I keep on pressing home and the enter key I keep on pressing the page up for some reason. Anyway, other than this two, I got no more complaints. I just wish I picked up the RGB version instead. Up until now, I'm still regretting that part. <laughs> well, uh, don't make the same mistake like I did and purchase the RGB version instead. I placed some links in the description below for you to check it out. So use those links to help this channel do more contents like this one. So that's it guys, this is Mac and I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If it does, make sure you give us a thumbs up and share it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.